Welcome to Mercenary Field here in Chirac, Illinois, home of the Midway Mutants. Also home of the White Sox and the Flubs. Also home of the most state politicians in Jail Hall of Fame. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Snuffle Thrills battle, the Midway Mutants. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. The panty wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means MFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions. Water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. Second down and more than the QB would like. And like a monkey trying, and he gets three yards on that run. Third down and ten. Great play by the defense for Zelda. Can't keep a good mutant down. He could go all the way. He's at the ten. Touchdown! And then, my friend, is to dance with someone who knows they can negotiate for more money next year. I call that shake, rattle, and bone. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Make and pick up the first. Nicely done. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Second and three. Third down and nine. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleep. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Ah, that's not fair. So much you call a penalty on this ref. Yeah, the death penalty. Hang him by the nuts. And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> 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 
And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Third down and three. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. This guy. Well, oh, he should be more careful when he hurdles. The 20. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten past it. Rep that just called that penalty? He was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. Yeah, that sounds like a good job. He's right at home here taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swipe the money from the bathroom attendant. Hey, who don't do that? First down and three. Oh, man, he really... Oh, with the brain scrambler. And that'll bring up second and one. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. move baby no you didn't you know why i'm too fast for you i'm the greatest the greatest i tell you <laughs> don't want to make any mistakes here just kick the ball through the upright for god's sake straight through the uprights They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. And he just slipped and followed the bloody footprints to the new with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit them. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And 
And it's first and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. They're going for two points. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. The 30. And he runs out of gas and got tackled short of the goal line. Hell of a run, though. Uh, luck just damn it happens to a lot of guys, Grim. Uh, at least that's what I hear. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Uh, it's about time, Grim. First down and three. Second down and ten. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. That is why he's a defense schmuck. Third down and ten. Wicked hit and knocks the ball loose. The receiver just got smashed. Not as bad as me last night. He may be dead, but trust me, he's in better shape than I am right now. Oh, geez, here it comes. Blah. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. The kick is good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. Another loser fights the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. <laughs> the offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. <laughs> and he reels that one in for a first down. 
to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team? Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. First down an inch in. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps outside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. And that'll give him four more downs to punish the defense. Whoa, Mama! Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. First down and five. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. <laughs> two point plays are high risk, high reward, and it just didn't pay off. And now they're both screwed and stupid. Yeah, you think you can go toe to toe with me? Well, you mistake a man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. No, oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. He throws that one to the sidelines. The offense has only two linemen left on the offense, and they'll need to play shorthanded the rest of the game. Hey, uh, don't say mean things about short people, Grim. They don't look down on people. Second down and ten. <laughs> Murphy Brown! What? Time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. <laughs> this 
And it's first and ten. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Second down in a mile. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me of that Tom Hanks. And that's another pick. Oh, nice hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Shave a few days off his life. Hey, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? And it's first and ten. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Second down and long. And with another pick, the QB dies and fumbles the ball. And no one's going to his shiv after the game. And it's first and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. The defender blows up the receiver on the play and knocks the ball loose. Second down and ten. He is fighting for every yard. And he runs it for four yards. Third down and six. And the two-minute warning sounds. Time to get a beer. Hey, get me one, too. Third down and six. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. Hey, so big that the last... And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. Well, that play didn't work. They'll have to rethink that. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Third down and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. 
Hot one, hot two, hot And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Hot one, hot two. Eight. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Third down and, well, good luck. Catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three yarders might grow up to be somebody one day. And that's two timeouts gone for the defense. But they've really got to get the ball back to their offense. But the offense is like 30 balls over there on the sideline just waiting for them. Why don't they just use them? Ask the ball boy. He didn't do nothing. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get it. And he's got a chance for a good return. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. And it's first and ten. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. They pick up three on a short pass. Second down and seven. Boom, dead and down. Send a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. I hope some lucky fan gets to catch the ball. This is going to be a great kick. With how hard he's going to have to kick it, they'd probably die, Bricks. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. 
Oh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second down in a very lot. It looks like the defense had been a shrinking. Ah, another inner fumble. You've got to protect the ball better than that. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All he needed is 77 to bite it. <laughs> is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and... The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. Second down and nine. That was a nice piece of running, Vin. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the def Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. <laughs> And it's first and ten. He is running like an old guy looking for a bell. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Under that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. for a touchdown. Well, two years ago, this guy was a buried, rotting corpse at the edge of the galaxy. And today, look at him. He's a dancing, scoring machine. What a story. What a, what a wonderful story. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's 
first and ten. is getting kills. Ah, oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Tackles. He takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. <laughs> Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Point with multiple interceptions. The QB should just Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. And the defense gets another pick. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have fun. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh his head just exploded. What is this? What is this? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, did we get out of And it's first and ten. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> it appears that the last ref was calling his stockbroker during the huddle, and that tipped him off. Yeah. It looks like he won't be buying that boat anytime soon, huh? Yeah. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. That's better than throwing a pick, I suppose. Second down and ten. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. A man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> The offense is no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, I'm still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. First down to three. At this 
rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than complete. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? And it's first and ten. I, I, one. Nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one. Hot. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. It's a touchdown! Move, baby. No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Glenn. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. down give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off he is deadly in the open field bricks and it's first and ten and there's another pick man this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing he broke free and has open field in front of him he's at the 20 he might catch him oh you fat little mutant Hey, man, see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They get be called sitters then. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. He refuses to go down. He's not going down. And he finds out. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell in here. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, what a throw. And Sonic, and he just wrestles away. He could go all the way. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. Yeah, man, he's going to get him now. He only had... <laughs> Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay.
The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. There's a funny red head on the field. Now that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Can I kill him? This guy's a brick shithouse. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback's going to be hurting. Or dead. Or worse. Second down and more than the QB would like. One, two. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why they're And the defense gets another pick. Matt Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. Hey, man, nobody can touch you with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? And it's first and ten. You can't keep a good mutant. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. He really wants it. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. away boom dead and down he just sent a message with that hit yeah the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's gonna kill you but then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him i'm uh, going in circles Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights.
They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. The Midway Mutants have no mutants left on their roster and declare a surrender. It's a forfeit, folks. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.